We are back in the parking lot again, and today what we're going to cover is U-turns. I know we do U-turns a lot, but we have been seeing a lot of riders who actually have the U-turns down, 24-foot turns, are very inconsistent on doing the U-turns 100% of the time. They have it in the parking lot, they got everything down, but when we get out on the street and ride, go back to their old habits. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I am Rich, and that's what we're going to cover today. We have looked at many riders that work with us and found a common denominator that's preventing them from doing their U-turns consistently. Now, we're not talking about people that just learn the U-turns. We're talking about people that have it down. Then they'll leave, come back a week or two later, and they got to do three U-turns before they get even a 24-feet U-turn down. So we looked very careful and found a common denominator. Now, one of the things we found, obviously, not practicing. You got to practice these things. You're trying them on the street, and then you're going back to the old habit of walking the bike. You have to practice. But the main common denominator is it goes with the number one rule of motorcycling, and that's look where you want to go. The main common denominator goes with look where you want to go. What we found that riders were looking where they wanted to go, but they were trying to look at the same time they were turning their bike. That's what the problem. I will get on the bike and do two demonstrations and show you if you do a slow head turn, you can have some difficulties making a U-turn. The thing that they need to do and that you need to do if you're having this problem is make a very quick head turn. Remember, look first, then everything follows. Provided you have the friction zone down, steady throttle, rear brake. You've got to have that confidence each and every time you go out there and do these U-turns. So let me reset the camera up and I'm going to show you. I'm going to do two slow head U-turns at 24 feet. This section here is 24 feet. Now, I'm not going to intentionally go wide, but you'll see the difference between a slow head turn and a quick head turn. I'll turn this camera so you can watch my head turn slow and quick and keep this camera so you can see the bike turning slow and quick. So let me set up, put on my gear, and we're going to get rolling. Okay, this first one I'm going to do, it's going to be a slow head turn. Provided I got everything else down. I'm in a friction zone, rear brake, steady throttle, and I'm gonna do a slow head turn with the bike instead of a quick head turn and watch how wide my turn is. Now I'm not gonna intentionally go outside. I'm gonna make the turn. I'm just not gonna intentionally go out outside. Here we go. Identify I wanna make a turn, checking my mirrors, it's clear. I'm making a turn, not looking all the way down, slow head turn, finally done it, and I completed the turn. I didn't go out wide. It was a complete turn. So I'm gonna do it one more time, facing the camera so you can see how wide my turn will be. I'm using all my real estate. You know, that's what we talk about, using the real estate. But you wanna get those turns consistent, consistently 100% of the time. Here we go. Start the turn, head turning too slow, going a little wide, and made the turn. I made the turn, but I had to push it a little bit more because my head was too slow. So let me do this next one facing the camera where I'm going to do the two quick head turns. Okay, now I'm about to do two quick head turns so you can see how tight the turns become when you turn your head quickly. Now, don't hurt your neck doing this, but you got to be a lot quicker. The first thing is look first. Once you look, you never have to worry about where your handlebars or your, wheel, real, your wheels are. So it's going to be a quick look. Here we go. This next one, right now, is the quick one. Identify where I make the U-turn, quick look, look where I want to go, a much tighter turn. Have some room to spare on this 24. I'm going to do it coming back the other way now, so you'll see it. Here we go, going to be, I identify where I want to go. I'm looking at my mirrors, making sure everything's clear. I'm in a friction zone, pressure on the rear brake, not touching the front brake. A quick head turn, dip my bike, and go. Here we go quick turn one last time with the quick one quick turn and you notice I'm not doing a dip or anything I'm just doing a regular turn counterbalance on the bike quick turn so if you're having problems making your u-turn consistently 
turn that head very, very quick, and I guarantee you will nail it 100% of the time. If I'm doing it on a big bike like Goldwing, you can do it on your bike. I have confidence in you, so you must have confidence in yourself. That's all I have for right now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Quick head turn. Ha, ha, ha.